लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एरिफाई इंडिया थैंक यू बायोटेक्नोलॉजी वॉट इज बायोटेक्नोलॉजी हिस्ट्री एंशियंट टेक्नोलॉजी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इज एन एंशियंट टेक्नोलॉजी दैट वॉज डेवलप्ड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ ईयर एगो अनोइंगली बट द बेसिक थिंग्स दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड इन अवर डे टू डे लाइफ फॉर इम्प्रूविंग द क्वालिटी ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ वॉज under biotechnology later there were many methods like genetic experiments were conducted that were later leveled under biotechnology most probably it is a very old technology since 1945 bc examples fermentation alexander's penicillin darwin's theory green revolution double helix dna genetic engineering and establishment of about 400 pharmaceutical companies for genetic research fermentation what is fermentation there are different types of fermentation processes in our day to day life we are using fermentation process mainly for brewing bread and wine brewing bread and wine it is very old techniques using fermentation we use fermentation for producing alcohol alexander's penicillin as we know penicillin was a development the development was unknowingly uh, done during the war where alexander developed a penicillin darwin's theory darwin's theory was the one that explains the species or living form that have the most capable body of surviving survives the most and these are the quality and best species green revolution that is green revolution that we have studied the growth of the productions greenery in the cropping area that was the technique that is included in biotechnology double helix structure of dna that is double structure of dna explains the nature of dna and is the basis of genetic engineering genetic engineering develops modern techniques of creating new genes and helps medicinally for operating the genetically based syndromes establishment of about 400 pharmaceutical companies for research work these includes the companies that are under research work the main centers since history for biotechnology is dutch california germany us france singapore etc some basic methods given in biotechnology in our previous topic we have studied fermentation and double helix dna before beginning to alcohol fermentation we should know that there are different types of fermentation methods and from that one is alcohol alcohol fermentation in alcohol fermentation there are basically two steps glycolysis and nad plus degeneration in glycolysis glucose is converted into pyruvate and at the same time there is a removal of nadh plus and h plus also in this process there is there is requirement of oxygen but after pyruvate when oxygen is removed in the form of carbon dioxide then there is a regeneration of nad plus this nad plus came from the glycolysis where it was removed as nadh and h plus and when this happens then the fermentation begins because fermentation is, is an anaerobic process that don't requires oxygen then pyruvate is converted into acetaldehyde and ethanol in fermentation basically we can create uh, different types of 
methods and for like brewing bread and wine from grapes and rice as the early people do this so that at that time there were no proper technologies and nothing but the whole of the process begins depending upon aerobic and anaerobic conditions but now because of biotechnology there are huge machines in the industry and the fermentation takes this at a large scale double helix dna double helix because we can see the dna is having double helix one is 5 dash to 3 dash or we can say 5 hydroxyl phospho or 5 prime to 3 dash phosphor hydroxyl phospho or 3 dash prime and two of the strands are anti parallel of each other as you can see there is one is 5 dash to 3 dash and next is 3 dash to 5 dash it is a polynucleotide composed of four members these are one each of stands for one polynucleotide chain g c t a g stands for guanosine c cytidine t thymidine and a adenosine next double strand of dna one is a major microbe and second is minor microbe of 0.34 nanometer and major 3.4 nanometer 5 dash to 3 dash 3 dash to 5 dash anti parallel having the backbone support of sugar phosphate and nitrogenous base known as double stranded dna why and where biotechnology why biotechnology first of all let's see why biotechnology is important in our day-to-day -day life biotechnology as we know is upcoming technology and it is very important and recognizable field in science why biotechnology heal the world fuel the world feed the world these three points sounds like a hand in hand job heal the world biotechnology helps in production of various types of medicines against microbes that helps the body to stay free of infectious diseases fuel the world it produces biofuels that is uh, that helps in removal of greenhouse gases and make the air pollutant free feed the world different types of crops are grown that is with high profile and high yielding methods that is more nutritive and good for human life pharmaceutical pharmacological activities different types of pharma companies as we have seen 400 pharmacological uh, activities have been supported over worldwide and research are still going there so these companies are required for producing pharmaceutical medicines waste management many types of microbes and bacteria are killed and the water or our natural environment biodiversity is conserved and protected genetically modified crops different types of high yielding crop profile are created and that is more nutritive in nature many methods of killing the weeds have been invented pesticides have been invented equipment tools have been in invented by biotechnology to improve the quality of crops and nutritive methods have been invented for improving the protein nutrition and protecting the high yielding crops from worm like example and man and from many weeds and different types of microorganism that is harmful for the environment biofuels like ethanol biodiesels have been invented that cut off the greenhouse gases emissions and protect the plants from harmful gases and protect our seeds crops that could be grown sown and have the quality and have been improving the quality of human life now bio biotechnology many have doubts that what we can use biotechnology how uh, how we can use the biotechnology we can use biotechnology for appearing in our 
exams many types of exams like aims jnu jawahar lal nehru university cb eee combined biotechnology entrance examination du delhi university biotechnology entrance examination there are many exams that private university take for entrance in pgs or research, junior research work for biotechnology courses these all have of promotes you for pgs course to do research that requires bsc biotechnology degree so you can begin your begin your uh, profession in biotechnology from bsc in biotechnology then you can appear for your pg's work with biotechnology in different and successful universities in the world i have mentioned some of them here aims jnu cb triple e du delhi university biotechnology and the basic science in upsc many have doubts that why should we study biotechnology in our upsc exams upsc exams as we know have different optional subject so you can apply the optional subject like science that to include biotechnology like animal husbandry biodiversity and conservation plants bioengineering biomedical sciences genetic engineering etc so these all are the cover ups under biotechnology department of biotechnology dbt under indian government department is also an administration service that is under the ministry of science and technology science basic in upsc biotechnology to include definition principle importance biodiversity conservation biofuels crop management laws time saver behavior waste management industrial affairs international affairs and gk these all are the overview of biotechnology that you should study for your upsc exams thank you please like share and subscribe edify india thank you